Right, here we are in VP4, and uh, there's no setup here. This isn't, there's no cheating involved or nothing. Um, just to make things clear, but we have the full house for the uh, Cowboy World Championships. The bracket is up. Uh, everybody should know who they're playing, but I thought, I know what I'll do. I'm watching the snooker at the moment, um, and I thought I'll have a bit of practice. Uh, on my own uh, while I'm watching the snooker so uh, as you can see I'm on a run of 82 at the moment right from the off um, so this is bound to end in disaster so let's see how far I can go uh, three balls going to spot right there in front of us um, so let's just uh, roll up the table See if we can leave the following carom. So we're on 85. Uh, we've got an easy carom. This is where it gets a bit awkward because ideally you want to pot the five ball to get to 90. It's not always going to be the case and it's not going to be the case this time either. But the other problem is if you get down to a single number and it's a pot, then you have to keep the one ball in play. So this could end up going funny. So uh, let's just uh, make sure we hit this one ball hard enough. Oh, it's going to go in. I don't think I wanted that. I didn't want that. Well, anyway, problem now is, is exactly what I was talking about. We're on 87. I need to pot a ball. And obviously I can pot the one ball, which is tough. Uh the three ball, I could, I could bank it, but uh, I'm going to play a two and one shot. I'm going to try and pot the one and try and carry the five, and that would take me to 89, but it's probably going to end the run. Let's have a wee try. Missed the carom, and the problem now is, is we're well out of line. We're well out of line. We're on 88 and now we're struggling for a carom. Now, I think the danger here is, is letting the cue ball run, but I'm going to have to. I'm going to try and play a two and one shot. It's, I might end up just going straight up and down the middle and missing everything, but I'm just going to try. I need uh, a wee bit. In fact, it's not really a two and one because I'm actually aiming for the one. I could go off the one. In fact, that's probably a better idea. I could go right side of the one and try and come and hit the five. And if I get if I get lucky, I might hit the three instead. So let's see if we can get that. I'm not going to pot the one, I don't think. Let's have a go. The, the eyes can hold up. Got to get this thin. Well, that worked. So now... We're on 89, and now the good thing is the one's over the pocket. Uh, let's have a quick check here. Now, if I pot the one, my best bet is to stay inside the kitchen. That's the, the general idea here, because that gives me a, at least a sight on the five and the three uh, for my next carom, if I can get it. Uh, I'm looking at the angle from where the, the one ball spots down to where the five is. So I think I just want to sort of dink this in and no more to give me at least a sight up the table. Uh, that's not bad. So now we're on 90. Uh, I don't, th I never really actually practiced cowboy, believe it or not. I just come in on my day off and early in the morning and play the guys at doubles, and I never really practiced. But this is not bad for a for a for very first practice I think I've ever done in cowboy. Uh, anyway, let's see if we can keep it going. And now, if we stay there. We've got a chance of the other one off the three ball. The danger, of course, with the three is, is that we're putting it towards the pocket. Now, the one thing to make sure that it doesn't stay toward the pocket is we hit it harder. 
and then we hit the five ball harder as well. Um, but that's not really what I want to do. I want to sort of keep the five ball sort of there and maybe be able to play a carom to the to the one. Uh, so I'm going to I'm going to overcut this. I'm going to try and overcut this and put a wee bit of left on it. And I've missed it. I've missed. <laughs> I don't even think I needed a bit of left, but I was convinced I did. But anyway, there we go. That's not bad for uh, a first session of practice in Cowboy. A run of 91. Beat that. Well, plenty of people will beat that, but it's not bad for me. 